This is a run through of uh, iViews, the iViews app uh, for Inventor from Envisage UK. Um, I just like to run through uh, what this is capable of providing you in the Inventor software. In effect, it uh, provides um, viewports within the Inventor drawings uh, to auto scale drawing views too, such that if you are using something like an iLogic part or assembly, or a component that changes size um, based on templates or something like that, or parametric or um, parameter changes, then the uh, view will auto scale to a viewport within the drawing and obviously keep within the drawing. So how does it work? Um, on the tools tab, whilst the drawing is open, you will be given an eye views area of the tools ribbon. Three buttons on this. One is to set up the iViews uh, viewport initially, and then the other two are to um, update the sheet as required. I'll go through this in a second. We run the setup iViews. Um, it gives us an option now. Um, the idea of this is that uh, not everybody's going to want to have views update on save. Um, they may want to leave these so they can change them manually. So I've put an option in here whereby the view that I'm about to create. Um, if I tick this box, the view will actually um, update when I say just before I save the document. Um, if I don't tick this, then I have to click on these buttons here to actually update the sheet manually. Uh, if it is ticked, I can either update the sheets manually, update the views manually from the sheets using these buttons, and it will also automatically update when a save occurs. I'll leave this on at the moment. If we can continue, we then select the drawing view and drag a rectangle around here that represents the viewport that I actually want to um, uh, auto scale this view to. So when I click on update sheet, it updates the views in this sheet and automatically scales this particular view to fit the viewport. If you wish to manually alter the viewport afterwards, you'll notice there's actually a, um, <clears throat> a sketch on the drawing sheet which has got the same name as the view uh, that it's um, parented with. Uh, it's got an asterisk afterwards. The asterisk uh, for those who may be interested is because I ticked that tick box to uh, automatically save this viewport on save. So the asterisk is uh, for our software to or the app to actually know that this particular view will update when I save the document. Um, let's edit the sketch. And all we need to do is just grab the uh, rectangle that represents the viewport, finish the sketch, and then if I do a save on this, it will then save the automatically save the uh, um, automatically scale the view to the viewport. So um, let's have a look at the, the second sheet. Uh, we'll create a view uh, an eye view on here as well. So I'm just going to select again. I'm just going to have it to update on save. I'm going to select this view here. Now, what's happening here is that this view is actually scaled to the base view and iViews cannot work with this view unless scale from base is actually turned off for this particular view. If I select the base view, then it will work. I can actually add a viewport and then when I update the sheet, the viewport and the corresponding views, of course, update uh, along with it. If I try and set up an eye view on a view that already, had, already has a viewport on it, then I get this warning to say that the draft view already exists, which represents the viewport. Please delete the draft view, and it gives you the name first. So if I need to create a new viewport on here, I would actually have to delete the draft view and its sketch before I can actually create a new eye view on this, uh, on this view. To be honest, you're probably better off actually editing the sketch and drag in the uh, rectangle representing the viewport around yourself and then when in this case if we either we save or update the sheet then it will update the viewport if you click on update all sheets it does what it says it actually updates all sheets in the drawing so it, delete, it updates both sheet one and sheet two, it's come back to sheet two again. Whereas if you just click on update sheet, it will actually update the views only on the sheet that you're working on. So it gives you the flexibility to actually um, manually view uh, views changing uh, using the update sheet to update all sheets or automatically scale the viewports to the uh, uh, um, when you do a save. 
If we go back and change the part itself, let's just make this a bit longer. Back to the drawing. Then all the viewports have changed, my sheet has changed, and all I've got to do now is click on update all sheets, and that goes and updates the sheets with all the views corresponding to the viewports that we created earlier. Enjoy the software. Please uh, email, if, email, email me if you want any changes made or you think of anything that could uh, be done to better this app. And uh, thank you very much.